Welcome to the MMA Show. I'm the Muscle Mo. Master Wang. And we're here to talk about UFC 108. Yep. After UFC 107, I think it's got a lot to live up to. For sure. Big and time. It's been called uh, the plagued. One, UFC 108 has been plagued by misfortune. Well, that's one of the reasons we left uh, the show to quite late on, because the card kept changing. I think the card is a bit worse for wear now, but we'll try and get <laughs> as excited as we can about it. Yeah! And well, we've got that excitement revved up there. We'll look at the first fight in the card, or the main fight in the card. Rashad Evans versus Thiago Silva. Good, good, good fight, solid fight. Well, I think as we all know, it was supposed to be Rampage Jackson that was fighting Rashad Evans, but that's not to be just now, still. But that's the thing, Rampage is going to come back, he's going to choose the fight. He's going to shut Dana up, he's going to shut, I don't know, asshole. B.A. Barakas, yeah. Good luck. Uh, not B.A. Barakas, sorry B.A. Barakas, Mr. T. Sorry about that. Oh, apologies. Uh, uh, Evans, can, as we've seen with Mashida, he's fast, he's can, he's fluent. We've seen with all the rest of his fights as well. He's fast, he's fluent, he's a puncher, he hits hard, he knocks it. He, I think he's got fast hands, but he doesn't land a lot of punches. If you look at him fighting Chuck... Just dance a lot. If you, if you look at him against Chuck Liddell, against Forrest Griffin, he's losing the fights. He throws hundreds of punches and not a lot of them land, but he has got, he has got knockout power. I think his timing's a bit out, but to be fair, I think he's gonna be he's gonna come off second best with the striking against Thiago Silva. And he they do do the the <laughs> thing. Oh, another thing is they come in with the monkey thing, yeah. With the monkey? Ah, uh, they come in the door of the cage and they do a sort of monkey impersonation. Uh, I did, I did not say that. That's not a racial sort of thing of me doing that there. They, they, well, did Jardine do it? Because they didn't help him against Jardine, Thiago Silva. <laughs> Jardine did do it. He get donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> he did get beat up. <laughs> anyway, look at the fight itself again. I think Rashad Evans' best chance of winning that fight is by mixing it up. Standing striking for a fight a while, shooting for a few takedowns, keeping Thiago guessing. Because I think if ultimately if he's in the ground the whole time, he'll get subbed. If he, if he stands up continually, he'll be knocked out. So I see his best chance is mixing it up. Thiago, keep it standing. Eventually knock him out. If he has to, if he has to go to the ground to either sub him or use his jiu-jitsu and get back to his feet. So who are you going for? I'm going for Thiago Silva. I'm going for Evans. Evans. Again, we're both opposites for our picks. So, uh, thanks for anybody that participated, obviously, in the, the last competition. And what we're obviously working towards is, at the end of this one, will be the, the great Matt Hughes book that we're giving away. Oh, look at that. Just look, to prove look, it's real. Look at that fine book. You know, we're still waiting for our photo that we're uh, from the last person we sent out that TOTs. And uh, they're going to be sending us a picture to verify that they got that in the front. So hopefully Sunday will win that. And is that a good book? Oh, it's a good book. It's a good book. But my hero, Matt Hughes. I'm a, not a big Matt Hughes fan. But neither or less. So how do these good people win that book or have a chance of winning that book? Well, basically the four fights that we're here to talk about today, you just make your picks as well. And the people with the most right picks get the book. So you just fire that in the comments, we tally up, you get a point for each correct, each correct fight. answer. And uh, it's running over 107 and 108, but if you never put them in for 107, don't be shy, because you can still win. If you get 4 out of 4, yep. which is which is possible, because I've done it in the last one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, what's our, our next fight? Moving on to the next fight, it's Dustin Hazlett versus oh, Paul Simtex Daily. Oh yes, yes. Sorry with the wee mental block there, because yeah. it's been changing so much. I see that as a classic striker grappler, yep. Semtex, old cage rage guy, I think he's fought in strike force, you said. Strike force, up. he's fought in Japan. Pro proved himself against Martin Campman that he hits hard. Yep. And he also cost me in a four fight accumulator, which I was <laughs> mega pissed with. <laughs> so he's, a, he's a young guy, he's for England, he's uh, he, he's not just come into the UFC, as you see, he's fought all other places. Oh, up. But he is very much one dimensional. Can, Good striker. His, his ground game's garbage, from what I've seen it. That does Dustin Hazel, this guy's won five fights by submission, BGJ black belt, smoking hot ground skills. I think that's enough said about it. I'm going I'm going Dustin. I'm gonna go uh, for Sentex just on that puncher's puncher's luck, you know. I obviously if it goes to the ground. He's finished his he's, he's done. He did seem to have quite big feet as well, so I don't <laughs> think that's a possible advantage there. So there we go. There we go. So <laughs> Semtex daily. Dustin Hazlett, I'm going there. Well, over to our sponsors. And uh, the, this one. Okay. 
Okay, so that was uh, that was go fast. They're good, and we've got a go fast competition. Uh, that's another competition. You're lucky you're watching this. That's the book and the go fast competition. Two competitions for one great show. It's, it's value. <laughs> Consider them for free. It's value. And you've just got to subscribe and participate. So uh, with the go fast thing, it's basically it's only done to folk from Scotland. Okay, that's good. And it's MMA clubs or that sort of thing. What we're going to do something along the lines so of if you're in a karate club or a Thai boxing club, an MMA club or whatever, get a picture of you and your club with your people behind you or with your logo. Send or it even in. or even for it you kicking a bit of ass in training. Yep. Just try to give a wee bit back to the guys we train, try to get other guys that train. Yeah, in the Scottish scene. And we if we choose you if we choose you, we'll send you a Go Fast starter pack and it's got like a t-shirt and tin of Go Fast and their energy shot and kind of stickers and lanyards. Proper good meat fries. Very good stuff. Yep. If and you're from Scotland, you'll know what that means. <laughs> yep. And that's all you've got to do. Take Sample. a picture of yourself and show that you are interested in you train or can, even if you don't train, can you reading a Matt Hughes book or something like that. But it's got to be from Scotland. We're only sending it to Scotland, so... Can we open it up to at least if, if they don't train, they don't have a book, maybe pulling an angry face in the, in the living room? Oh, I put angry face, you know, if you're sitting there reading Sherdong or, Sher Dong or on the MMA channel, you know what I mean? A picture of you surfing the MMA channel, but it's only Scotland and, uh, yeah. Good, good, I would good. like somebody better than Diego Sanchez, <laughs> pull an angry face. Aye, a good Diego Sanchez angry face from Scotland and if we choose yours, you get a go but fast. don't worry, there's no consequences to that angry face. Although there was the Diego Sanchez, because he got his face ripped apart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was one of your picks, was it not? <laughs> I did pick Diego Sanchez, and he was looking fantastic. And he's going in the Dragon's Den with his yes cap wheel and his fight career is back. Anyway, he did well. On, on to the next fight. And this is an exciting this fight. Is, this is probably the most exciting fight in the card. I think, well, possibly the main event, but. Oh, this is going to be good. Junior De Santos versus Gilbert Yavel. Oh, nice. Very nice. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of Gilbert Yavel. You've, you've watched a lot more of his fights than I have. I've only really watched the two Affliction cards, so I'll let you. What he, do you think? He's a brute. He's an animal. And when uh, when you think of uh, like a proper warrior, somebody who can would have been in a, the battlefield back in the day, this is Gilbert Yavel. He's, yeah, he's got all the tattoos and all that sort of stuff. But I, I read his wee, his wee thing was... Past job, bouncer. I would have preferred if he just put thug. <laughs> well, he is, he's an animal and he really is. When people talk about the, can they go in there with the hate or they go in there with the, can the killer instinct or the animalistic instinct to kind He's one, mad already, he is up for her. He is the, can he is the prototype for that kind of fighting. He goes in there and he's a berserker. He's in there to do as much damage and his shot. Can, and he does it, it's something like 30 two fights and 27 KOs. He's quite a young guy for that amount of fights, so he must enjoy to fight that regularly. He, he fights everywhere, he's a striker, he's vicious, you know what I mean, and he hits, he's big and he hits hard. And Yeah, Junior De Santos has, has the tools in his uh, artillery to, to well, do. I think Junior De Santos, obviously he's fought a kind of, he's fought Crow Cop, not the best Crow Cop <laughs> I've ever seen. I mean, who else has he fought? He's fought he fought Struve. Struve, the big, the big tall dude, he's doing really well now. And he also fought, who's the guy that beat Gabriel Gonzaga, Bajitsu guy, went to strike force. Oh, I uh, Verdum. He beat Verdum. First round knockout, Struve I think was first round. Verdum had that blood coming out of his eye sockets, man. So the guy the guy hits hard, he's training with Nagera and Anderson Silva now. That's a good people to be training with. He was training, obviously he was training for the Gonzaga fight, which Another one of the fights that didn't the fighters that's had to pull out. So I think he's been working on his ground game a lot because he thought he was he was fighting Gonzaga. So that might possibly be his avenue for victory there. Although everybody's slating Gilbert Uvell's ground game. We've seen him against uh one the guy Barnett, Josh Barnett, amazing in the ground. Alright, he blanketed him the whole fight, but he never subbed him. There must be something there. And he's uh he's won by submission a, a few times as well. It's a, a husband like leg uh, type submissions, heel hooks and stuff, but he, he has a few wins via submission. So. And you probably think I'm waffling right now, and that, the reason for that is I don't know who to pick. Well, that's kind of, kind of simple. He, he's, he comes from Holland, he's Dutch, he's huge, he's heavily tattooed, he's a barbarian. Gilbert Yevil is going to win. The Dutchman or the Brazilian? 
Just to keep it going, I'm going to go Junior De Santos, but I think that'll be a smoking hot fight. Somebody oh, yes. probably get knocked out there. Oh yes. Oh yes.